Hi guys, I am Samina and this week on the Cupcake Confession, I am showing you how to make hands down the best vanilla cupcakes you will ever make. I never knew that a cupcake sponge could melt in your mouth till I made this and that frosting tastes just like vanilla ice cream. Let's begin, it could not be simpler. First, we will sift all of our dry ingredients. So here I have some all-purpose flour. Into this, I'm going to add some baking powder and the tiniest bit of sea salt to elevate all the flavors. All of the quantities have been listed below in the description box. So make sure that you check it out. I will sift this and keep it aside. Now, normally I would add milk into my cupcake batter, but this time I'm taking it a step ahead and adding some vinegar to it, which will give me instant buttermilk. As soon as you add the vinegar to some warm milk, you will notice that the milk will start to curdle after a couple of minutes. If you don't want to use vinegar, you could also use some lemon juice. In terms of vinegar, you could use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar anything works and now you can see those curdled bits you'll keep this aside and as it sits it will continue to curdle even more and that adds a tremendous amount of softness to your cupcakes now in this bowl of a stand mixer i'm going to weigh out my softened room temperature butter and using the paddle attachment of my kitchenaid stand mixer i'm going to start mixing this butter on a medium speed for a minute just to soften it up a little bit and now i'll just scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl just to make sure that the butter comes back in the center and then i'll start adding the sugar now for this recipe to add that extra moistness and deliciousness i am using both caster sugar and light brown sugar the light brown sugar has molasses in it which adds more tenderness and softness to your cupcake and the final result is this beautiful melt in your mouth cupcakes i'll now start mixing this with my paddle attachment on on a medium speed for about five minutes However, halfway through, so at the two and a half minute mark, I'll scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. This is very important because sometimes the butter does not mix at the bottom. And so you want to scrape the sides and the bottom, ensuring everything is well and thoroughly mixed. Now I'll add some vanilla extract into this. And the reason for adding vanilla at this point is because the fats in the butter really help bring out the flavor of the vanilla. It helps it mix evenly throughout the cake batter when it's ready again i'll put it back on medium speed that is speed five or six on the stand mixer and mix it for a further two and a half minutes for a total of five minutes after about five minutes you'll see just how voluminous this has gone again we'll scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl this is very important as you can see um, because it helps keep everything homogeneous now we'll start adding the eggs one at a time so i'm mixing this on speed four of my stand mixer and i have two eggs here and i will start adding them one at a time so i'll add one egg first and this is at room temperature it's very important for all the ingredients to be at room temperature and once the first egg has mixed through well i'll add the second one mix it for about 30 seconds then again i'll scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl because sometimes egg bits remain unmixed at the bottom and it can have a very unpleasant texture if you haven't mixed it well so you want to go again along the sides and the bottom of the bowl and then you want to mix it on a medium speed or speed five or six of the stand mixer for a good two minute period and you'll see that this really starts to get very fluffy and pale and it has increased so dramatically in volume again i'll scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl and now we'll alternate between our dry ingredients that we sifted early on in the video and the instant buttermilk that we made so i'll add about a third of the dry ingredients 
and then i'll add a third of the instant buttermilk that we made and as it sits on the counter you'll notice that it starts to curdle even more this is so perfect because it is going to add so much softness tenderness and make the cupcake super moist the first bite that you take you will be surprised at how instantly it just begins to melt in your mouth the sponge is unlike anything you will ever make now using the paddle attachment again you'll start mixing this on the low lower speed setting of your stand mixer for me that is half and then i'll start alternating with the sifted dry ingredients and the instant buttermilk until both of them have been added and used up at this point you do not want to overwork the batter and that is the reason why we keep it on the lowest speed setting just so it's combining and not developing the gluten in the all purpose flour as soon as you've added the uh, last of the buttermilk you will scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl and then mix again on the lowest speed setting for just 15 to 20 seconds and finally our vanilla cupcake batter is ready This cupcake recipe gives you around 16 to 17 cupcakes and you will divide these cupcakes in cupcake liners that have been placed inside the cupcake molds and you will add a leveled scoop and fill it 3 quarters of the way through your oven's preheating at 170 degrees celsius so these will now bake at 170 degrees celsius for about 20 to 21 minutes they will spring back to the touch and a skewer or a toothpick inserted in the center will come out clean you will let it cool down and while that's happening you will start making your frosting so we sifted our icing sugar first and that's because icing sugar tends to be really lumpy so you want to pass it through a sieve so that it's a nice smooth looking powder Now in the bowl of a clean stand mixer first with the paddle attachment you'll start mixing some butter and some cream cheese on a medium speed i have just combined the cream cheese and the butter together also make sure that you're scraping the sides and the bottom of the bowl thoroughly when you're making this like this it just ensures that the butter and cream cheese has mixed together you can see here that they look pretty separate so do that and then you'll add some vanilla extract and then start mixing it again on a medium speed now you'll start adding your icing sugar a couple of spoonfuls at a time ensuring that they are thoroughly mixed through this frosting tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream it is so luxurious and smooth and silky and just the perfect consistency this will be your go to vanilla frosting You will take your spatula and scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl and then you will also scrape the paddle and replace it with the whisk attachment because now is where the magic starts to happen. I have taken some chilled heavy cream. This has 35% fat content and using the whisk attachment now, I'll first mix this for just a minute on medium speed. and then i will scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl because you will then start to notice that it is starting to thicken up just a little bit but you also want to ensure that the butter and cream cheese um, icing that you prepared earlier has enough opportunity to mix properly with the cream and now you will start whisking this on a medium speed and you will start to see that the cream starts to leave some trails behind like this which indicates that it is nearly there so you will check once for the doneness and it should be whipped at stiff peaks you don't want to whip the cream on high speed because that can easily over whip your cream and make it grainy and then there's no going back and so you want to make sure that you're using a medium speed to whip the cream and towards the end turn it down all the way to low so that you're not running the risk of over whipping the cream You can see this is the perfect consistency for our vanilla frosting. It is absolutely luxurious and tastes just like vanilla ice cream. Our cupcakes are ready and cooled and I just wanted to break into one to show you that real cotton like texture. I don't know if I've emphasized this enough but this cake absolutely melts in your mouth and it's going to be the best vanilla cupcake sponge that you have ever made. You have to give this a go and let me know in the comments. Now that our cupcakes have baked and cooled thoroughly and our vanilla ice cream frosting is ready, 
all we have to do is just pipe that luxurious silky smooth frosting on our cool vanilla cupcakes you always want to make sure that the cupcakes have cooled down thoroughly otherwise when you frost on a warm cupcake the frosting will start to melt and you absolutely do not want that after you've piped on your cupcakes you'll finish off by adding some colorful sprinkles these are optional but totally recommended and your best ever vanilla cupcakes are ready these are going to be an absolute favorite of yours i can guarantee you that because the texture and the flavor of these cupcakes are just phenomenal you can see how amazing they look and i'm just going to cut into one of these cupcakes so you can see what it looks like on the inside and there you have it this is the most incredible the best vanilla cupcake recipe you will ever make i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again in another baking video until then goodbye and happy baking